Take a look at this. New studies suggest three to five cups of coffee a day could help prevent serious illnesses like heart disease and multiple sclerosis. But haven't we heard this before? Studies on coffee and health often contradict each other. Who are we supposed to be believing right now? Joining me now, Dr. Mark Siegel from the Fox News Medical A-Team is here to answer all of our questions pressing about coffee here. So first part of this study, good morning to you. The first part of this study had to do with preventing heart disease. How can coffee do that, and how many cups a day do we need to be drinking? This was a huge study of over 25,000 people based in Korea, and it showed that the amount of calcium that builds up in your coronary arteries. Now, your coronary arteries are the tiny arteries feeding the heart. And when we see calcium building up, we know that heart disease is next. So that's a very sensitive indicator. But in these 25,000 people, those who had drunk three to five cups of coffee a day had a much lower buildup of calcium, meaning their chances of heart disease are much, much lower. Now, there's a lot of possible reasons for that. And one of them is that they may have had a lower risk of diabetes, because we already know, Elizabeth, that coffee decreases your risk of diabetes. Another possibility, which I'm most interested in, is coffee have compounds in it called polyphenols that decrease inflammation. And we know that it's inflammation in the body that leads to heart disease building up. So there's a lot of reasons to believe that coffee can decrease your risk of heart disease. There's been prior studies on this. This is very powerful. Now, is this about the caffeine? Does tea work? I think tea works for the anti-inflammatory reason also, but I don't think it's the caffeine. I don't think the caffeine has anything to do with this, except that if you have a risk for heart disease, caffeine can increase your heart rate. So you've got to watch out about the caffeine. It may be that for those at risk for heart disease, you want decaf. This needs further study, but I'm very excited about this finding because I think some of these compounds in coffee are very, very good at protecting the sure, heart. Sure, thanks for keeping an eye on that for us. Now, where caffeine does come into play is a study about multiple sclerosis. This says four or more cups of coffee a day could prevent MS, true? Yeah, that's also an associated finding. Again, it's not proof, but the study author from Hopkins, Dr. Mowry, said, I think it's the caffeine on these brain diseases. I think it's the caffeine that decreases your risk of Alzheimer's, your risk of Parkinson's disease, and now your, your risk of multiple sclerosis Why? decreased by 1.5 times drinking coffee. But, but she thinks that it's the, actually the caffeine because caffeine st is a brain stimulant. So it keeps your nerves firing. Mm. It keeps you overcoming the bad diseases that are building up. It, you know, in this case, multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease. The caffeine may keep your nerves to eluding that. But also, again, anti-inflammatory effect of coffee is good for you. Overall, if you don't have a problem with your stomach, if you don't have a risk for ulcers, if you don't have a risk for rapid heart rate, I think three or four cups of coffee a day is actually quite healthy. Okay, I'm going to go turn our machine back on and make another cup of brew. And I had a couple coming in here. But I want people to Thanks. be cautious to not do it without their doctor knowing about it. Okay, great. So check with your doctor and then enjoy those extra cups of Delicious. coffee. Delicious. Dr. Mark Siegel, we, we always enjoy having you. you. I think you are good for health. Indeed.